All right, welcome back to the DB Method. I am Coach Andrew. Today we're gonna talk about glute activation, specifically for your squats, right? So we're thinking squat activation, really. All right, not necessarily a workout that's gonna tire you out. However, it is one that's gonna make you think about what we're using when we're doing our squats and when we can apply this to all other workouts with this, all right? We're gonna do different time domains, different kind of squat depths and ranges, and all we're gonna need is the machine, a good attitude, all right, and yourselves. And we'll be here for about five, six minutes. So let's get ourselves set onto the machine, swing your leg around, put your heels onto the foot ramps, push your weight back, all right, and I'm gonna cue you through everything. So find your position, butt on the seat, arms nice and long, good posture. We're gonna get started with some glute squeezes in five, four, three, two, one. So we're squeezing nice and tight. Now you notice I leaned back, I've got a little bit of softness in the knee. I'm putting my weight here. I'm starting to get comfortable shifting backwards, right? And not leaning forwards. Squeezing my glutes onto this seat and together, right? Really thinking about that activation. I need to wake these up. Three, two, and rest. I'm gonna stand up, kind of lock out the leg, get a big exhale. Now we're gonna go back down and do the same thing. Shift your weight back. Three, two, one, squeeze. So I'm actively thinking about squeezing, all right? I'm driving my heels down into the ramps, chest back, push my belly out, stack my shoulders over my hips, eye focus is forward. I know I'm not looking at you, but I'm looking ahead. I want you to do the same thing. Also, you may see me take my hands off this, all right? Train professional at balancing. Keep your hands on the handles, all right? I'm gonna do one hand. Exhale, stand up. Push your weight back last time. So we push it back, squeeze, all right? Notice I've got that softness again, tailbone is underneath. After we do this, we're gonna talk about ranges of motion of squats, all right? So, but focus on this squeezing of the glutes, you're squeezing your butt onto this seat, and then we're gonna get into high zone squats with a squeeze. Here we go. So exhale, stand up, get yourself ready. I'm gonna show you a high zone squat, so you can chill for a second. So high zone squat. If I were to put a marble right at my belt buckle, right where my pockets are in my pants, it would roll down to my leg. This is all we're doing. Up back to there, okay? So I'm standing up. We're gonna go three high zone squats, 10 second squeeze at the top. Here we go. Descend in three, two, one. We're down, rolling up, squeeze the glutes. One, two, all the way for 10 seconds. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Exhale, down, back up, squeeze. Going for 10. Again, keep both hands here, all right? Ignore me when I do that, but I wanna keep that posture. I'm just trying to show you what should be tightened on your body. Exhale, we're going back down, high zone, and squeeze. After we do this squeeze for 10, and I want you to hold that, all right? Squeeze, 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 just give me your ears. We're then gonna go mid zone, a little bit lower. I'll use that marble throughout this whole workout, all right, as an analogy to give you an idea of where your depth should be. Exhale out, descend with me. So from here, put the marble anywhere on my leg, it should balance, all right? My knee and my hip are in the same place. And exhale, squeeze again. Slightly soft at the knee, not fully locked out. Posture is staying engaged, pulling my chest back, shoulders are down away from the ears, eye focus is forward, unless we're talking about me. All right, keep that squeeze and exhale back to your mid zone. As you stand up, I want you to push your heels into those ramps. I want you to think about pushing through the ramps. Keep that squeeze. Gonna go for another four, two, and mid zone. Last mid zone, squeeze. Keep that posture. All right, I'm gonna say posture maybe a million times in this five minute period. Pull your chest back, like make sure we keep that chest proud, shoulder blades squeezed together. We're gonna to go for our biggest range of motion here. All right, full squats. We go down. Now, this full squat, put the marble at the knee, rolls to my hip. Exhale up and squeeze, okay? Just three reps here, but we're taking our time because we're thinking activation, okay? This isn't about getting a million reps. This is about getting our reps right so that when we do do a million reps, Every single rep doesn't hurt us. It makes us more effective. We walk out of here with the best butt possible. Exhale down, stand, push those heels and squeeze tight, chest up, good. One more of these and then we're gonna squat for a time period, okay? We're gonna do high zone for a minute, mid zone for a minute, full squats for a minute. And we're gonna start that here in three, two, one. High zone, slight squeeze, back down. So we're going for a minute. Remember, this is a short range of motion, all right? Marble's always gonna be able to roll down. Try your best not to travel a little bit further. Even I sometimes get a little sneaky and I go a little deeper than I need to, all right? But we wanna keep this a minimal range of motion. So we're gonna go high volume of reps for this one. All right, move at a pace that makes sense for you that allows you to feel that glute squeeze at the top, okay? But the other ones, we're gonna go a little bit less volume because it's a deeper range of motion, takes us a little longer to get there. So we've got about 20 seconds, 25 seconds or so. Create this breathing pattern. So as I go down, all right, I'm inhaled, belly's out. 
exhale up, push that air into a balloon. Here we go, last five seconds. Minutes a little longer than you thought, huh? All right, we're gonna go mid zone. Three, two, and mid zone. Exhale as we stand up, back down. Give me four reps where you're just focusing on what you're doing. So I got the heels driving in, exhale, back to your mid zone, exhale. All right, just focus on that right now. Good. Now, you might feel it in your quads, right? But again, we're focusing on here. That's the target. So it's okay if you feel it there for a second, then bring your mind back to where we should be focused, right? Which is the glutes. So think about what we're feeling against your body and that seat. Good. I'm really driving those heels. That's what's gonna fire up my whole posterior, which is the back of your body. 10 more seconds here. And then we're gonna go for those full range squats. Again, quarter at the knee, rolls into you for one minute and then we're almost done. We'll be fully activated. Here we go, full range. Three, two, all the way down. <sighs> Exhale, squeeze for a second. All right, there's no real time at the top. I don't need you to stay up there forever. I don't really want you to, all right? Just kind of squeeze for a second and come back down. We are gonna finish with some squeezing at the top of a squat, all right? Just to kind of understand again where we need to be body-wise when we get into these squat patterns. All right, so about 25 seconds, working that full range, driving the knees apart left to right, keeping that posture nice and upright, protecting our spine as we go down by pushing your belly outward and exhaling as we stand. Let's get maybe four to five more reps. That should do it for us. And then we're gonna hold our top position, but remember, not fully locked out. We wanna have a little bit of bend in that knee. Last rep. And squeeze tight for 10. We're gonna do this three times, just like we did in the beginning of the workout. Pull your chest back, shoulder blades down, belly pushed out, butt squeezed into this chair. Last three, two, and stand. <sighs> Exhale, slight descend, and squeeze, all right? This is exactly what we did in the beginning of the workout. We're just kind of reprogramming it, driving home the point that this is about glute activation, nothing else. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Last three, two, Exhale, stand, relax your butt, and push it back. All right, so I got that weight back, heels pushing into those ramps, chest is up, your hands are both here. I've got one there sometimes. We're gonna go for another four seconds. Squeeze your glutes to the seat, push that belly out. We're gonna get a little bonus time. Three, two, and exhale. You can release the glutes, find your feet to the floor, step over your machine. Nicely done. We've just completed squat activation, so now you are primed and ready to go into any squat workout. Looking forward to seeing you next time, but for the DB Method, I am Coach Andrew, and I will see you then.